Magnets are big business. Do they work? It's unbelievable. Magnets are being used to treat everything from pain and stress to offsetting the effects of depression. It's $5 billion worldwide. In the United States and Canada, last year, almost $500 million was spent on magnetic devices without any scientific validation. Scientific validation is just what Weintraub is trying to do. Now, if a person experiences numbness, tingling, and burning, the mean, it means that the nerve is constantly depolarizing or firing. So what I believe the magnet is doing is resetting the nerve. It is repolarizing the nerve and trying to get it back to normal. And what I found was very striking. I found 75% of the diabetics and 50% of the non-diabetics got better. I would wake up with the most unbelievable pains in my feet. I used to put water on them and go take baths, take ride a bicycle. <laughs> but, you know, it was terrible. And then they, I, now I'm fine. <laughs> Sleeping. It's unbelievable. To me, it's unbelievable. I was open minded, but I was skeptical in this. But I just did the study that had to be done initially just to see if I could see benefit in people who should not get better. And that happened. But I didn't know if it was a placebo. So then I did a placebo crossover trial. And again, there was a benefit that was not placebo. And that's what led me to this. I tried everything, and nothing seems to work. But now a new study published today in the Archives of Physical Medicine and Rehabilitation finds that magnets may provide effective relief. Dr. Michael Weintraub designed a national, multi-center, double-blind, placebo-controlled experiment. Michael Mondopoli was part of the study. The needles and pins, the numbing, that, like your foot, that's what's eliminated, and that's the big pain that keeps you awake at night. Dr. Weintraub says it's only a certain kind of bipolar magnetic insole that seems to help because they penetrate the feet enough to make a difference. And he now believes that it's not a placebo effect. Within six weeks, the placebo response just plateaued, whereas the people who were wearing these therapeutic devices continue to have less and less pain. The magnets in medicine is very controversial because there are a lot of people and companies selling magnets and almost no good medical study showing proof. Michael Monpopoli is unsteady when he walks and always in some level of pain. But his pain has now been lessened somewhat. For over four months, Michael has been wearing magnets in his shoes. He was in a study conducted by neurologist Dr. Michael Weintraub of the New York Medical College in Valhalla. Nearly 400 patients around the country took part. All those in the study fit the same criteria. They have to have specific abnormalities on their examination. They have to complain of pain in a moderate or severe incapacitating way. The foot pads were worn day and night for four months, and the results showed people who had the real magnets had some significant improvement in one or more of the symptoms. Significant reduction of pain, of numbness and tingling, and also burning pain in the feet. I was also one of those people who was extremely, extremely skeptical until we decided to do these studies scientifically and look at the facts. There is some biological activity here. I had spoken to private foundations. I had spoken to pharmaceutical companies. No one was interested. And so when you have an enlightened person like Tom Watanabe, state that I believe in my product, do what you got to do, and, you know, I'll take my chances. I mean, that shows me uh, not only a vision, but a courageousness that only, if it was only infectious and could spread to uh, many other communities and divisions, uh, this would be a much better place. And we would get much more studies done, many more studies done, of areas that need to be looked at.